Hello and welcome to our Echoplex modification video documentary. The idea was to separate out the two functions of an Echoplex, namely the preamp from the tape, loop, and echo function, on the basis that having the tape loop constantly running while using it just for a preamp feature uh, distracts from the sound and also wears on the tape heads and on the Echoplex itself. So what we've done is we've pulled out the sound on sound head because it just added more warble. And then we took the sound on sound head, put it over here, safely tucked away, and then turned the echo sound on sound button into an on switch for the tape repeat itself. Okay, and to test out, we're going to use a Rickenbacker uh, 1960s, and then we're going to also use a Fender Vibrochamp, which at all times will be set at five. And the Rickenbacker is the sort of instrument that benefits from a preamp. So let's do the Rickenbacker straight through into the Fender, uh, the usual sort of mid selector switch with both pickups on. <laughs> Now we're going to turn on the preamp aspect of the Echoplex, which is still controlled as it normally would be in a normal working Echoplex with the on button being here, but you note that the tape doesn't start turning, but the light does come on. Definitely a dis distinct difference. Now we're going to turn on the tape, and you can see how that works with the echo sound on sound becoming the tape on off switch. So here, now the echo tape is running. works as, as it should normally. And again we can turn it off and have just the preamp. So that's it. Uh, probably the first time you've ever seen an Echoplex modded in this fashion, but I think it makes it much much more useful and prevents a lot of unnecessary wear and tear on the Echoplex. So thanks for checking this out.